Travis Wayne Goodsell. As I've told you before, uh, my postal service has been hurting. As I've witnessed uh, probably close to a half dozen different uh, new trainees with the uh, training vehicle following them doing our route. Uh, having been a postal service worker myself, I know of that process. And so, factoring the high turnover during this coronavirus and uh, as the, uh, the federal documents failed to show today when they should have showed today and another piece of mail confirming is now two days late that I'm expecting. And despite the 4th of July holiday, those were factored into the equation for the letter that, or the, yeah, the letter that's now two days late. Uh, but uh, the uh, order was given on the 6th of July, which was Monday, and so it's now two days late. And I'm concerned uh, as uh, the federal documents may go at least two days late depending on when I get my letter because that should have come already as I said but worst case scenario what if the courts or the clerks fail to mail me my documents as they are under or choose to be under the false impression that I am to receive it through that email service of which I have never been assigned a code for to be notified as I have pointed out the filing that shocked everybody in the case from the courts to the defense counsel and the church and everybody here in my life uh, that was ordered after her Judge Oberg's report to Judge Waddups of which I have two weeks to respond to And uh, the clerks also behaved after that filing. They filed it promptly, accurately, immediately uh, as a result of those weekend filings. But when I did my filing uh, for a speedy judgment, because it's taken too long, in over a month, the clerks then went back to their old ways of not filing accurately. And so, obviously the clerks were pissed. And they forced the guy here for last week. And, uh, This week, he's gone. This week, they stopped their work on the road. This week, they finally got rid of the other tenant who was long overdue to be booted out. And I, I don't know if I've shared that story with anybody. But uh, if you remember, I was given a death threat 
in the form of an eviction notice on Friday the 13th among the other death threats that were sent to me and so uh, anyway the clerks clearly are pissed as I uh, shocked everybody into compliance and then delay after delay after delay and then so I file again and the clerks now show their hatred by not filing accurately so would they not mail me anything out of spite and then claim clerical error assuming that I had received it through that email thing that would would have supposed to have happened had I been properly filed another thing that the clerks did not do on this last filing uh, was they did not send me the letter of receipt and saying that they will send me another email confirming that it has been submitted they've never sent me the email of submission uh, they've only sent me the initial email we got it you have to wait for the official filing they didn't send me that one so yes the clerks are pissed at me and so yeah would they do it out of spite not send me anything because I've had to before, you know, when the defense counsel filed with the court, just failed to file service of process, certificate of service, to me. And so I then submitted my uh, reply within the 14 days saying, hey, I haven't been served, so here's my reply. And that was used against me as being late. And so here Judge Oberg is saying, I have 14 days to reply, or I'm late. And yet I don't know the reasoning for why she's done all this, other than the outward appearance. And I'm not getting served those paperwork as we're now one day late as the postal service is late two days on another delivery and so for the most part I don't need to worry yet <laughs> it still could be because of the postal service getting hit hard by coronavirus but 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 I do know how to reply. I did that video for you as the pre-game show. But, but, but. I mean, this is... A, they clearly want to violate the law to protect the church. They clearly don't care about their own jobs thinking that by protecting the church they will protect their own jobs and that's why they get mad at me for what they did wrong and they retaliate for what they did wrong and that's a typical behavior of criminals and white supremacists they get angry when people point out you can't do that because that hits right to the core of their thinking processes of elitism. How dare you challenge us? How dare you accuse us? How dare you blame us? But again, born in a white supremacist family, in a white supremacist church, in white supremacist neighborhoods, suburban white neighborhoods, I've talked about Stan Lowry 
and what the white supremacist neighborhood did to him when all he did was tag me after I crossed the finish line I made it I scored a touchdown but all he did was tag but uh, they expelled him from school and his dad saw me coming home from school in a cast crutches begging me to tell my parents not to sue I had no clue I was born in among white supremacy I had no clue the oppression and the abuse had been kept from me and I only saw it in movie form oh that's something that's done on the movies that's something that was done in the past There in my junior high year, Auburndale Junior High School in Corona, California, I witnessed a, a different side that began to open my eyes. Began. So, I hope it's not the case. I hope they filed. I hope I will receive it. It's just a matter of the Postal Service being hit hard by the coronavirus. And so they're just slower than normal.